Hi guys, this is Lisha from Scarly Moon Creations, and I'm back with my June lunar plan with me. This is the Dark Moon in Taurus lunar cycle here. And that's the setup I'm going to be doing now. Um... So, please excuse any weird noises you hear outdoors. I don't know what's going on. My super is doing something. Uh, so, the look, design, decor, the piece de resistance, the centerpiece is this. These stickers, uh, more BTS stickers, guys, more BTS stickers, but, um, there are not much. I do not have new washi tapes, though just before I started filming, I ordered more to make myself feel good. So yeah, as usual, um, you can get these stickers. Yes, these are still available in the Weverse shop for BTS. Uh, I believe this is in the USA shop, BTS USA shop on Weverse, rather than the global shop. But, um... In case you've been under a rock in the last year, I'm busy doing more important things, honestly. Um, BTS put out their first all-English single in 2020, and it was called Dynamite. And here in the U.S., it made it to the number one spot on the Billboard charts. Uh, I believe that's, yes, top 100 is for individual songs. Um... And to celebrate, they made this sticker pack. Um, and yeah, you sent us to the top, which is really sweet to us, ARMY. And Dynamite in various colors, BTS in various colors, stars, top. 2020 BTS Dynamite, da, 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 BTS, all of that um, is in this pack. And... I got this pack because I'm a fan, obviously, but also I like the colors. Um, I'm a very huge fan of jewel tones, uh, personally. So, yeah. Now, as you see, black um, and gold are also big in this set. So I decided I'm going to use this rub-on transfer set that I got at my local Dollar General, Dollar Gen Dollar Tree, excuse me. Um, and I went through, I don't know how well you can see it, let me just put this away real quick. Hmm. I went through and I marked, um, four titles uh, that I would want to use these letters for just to make sure I had enough because with this gold simple set um, I thought would be best to match here uh, mostly straight lines I thought would be a good idea um, yeah so I marked out like new moon and Taurus uh, projects and I think that's it. I might go through and mark some other, but I have enough for those, if nothing else. So, that will be that. Uh, also, here on the side, I have been using these, but I haven't introduced them, I don't think. This is a Capital Chic Designs uh, sticker book, and it's for holidays. So, I'll... Honestly, I don't know why I have this here because I won't be using this unless there is there one for like the whole month of May or something. No. Okay. So this will I will use um during my dailies. I might might set up a weekly or two here today. So if I do that, I'll use these. Now, two sets of washi tapes that I recently got. These are from JLB Creative. I have been following James Luke Burke, 
that's uh, his name, for quite some time artistically, and I quite enjoy his stuff. Um, and he does have an Etsy shop, and I bought these months ago, but I haven't used them yet, and I think they match. Uh, this is has the jewel tones, if you can tell. And then this is black and white, so keeping up with the washi usage here. As far as pens go, I'm going to use my new Bright Palette uh, dual brush pens and probably just these two, uh, my Bic Atlantis uh ballpoint pen and this uh, Tombow Furunisuke yes, black brush pen. This is is it the small or the soft tip? Yes, I really like this. I might go to Target and buy the color set because I like color. And these are smaller than the Tombow, so that's why. So, yeah y'all uh full disclosure i have not been doing well with actually using my bullet journal lately um not horribly but not well so please wish me the best of luck <laughs> you will be getting a review that's why they're delayed though i like I said, have not been doing well with actually using my bullet journal um, regularly. I have been very busy. Um, it's not that I've been doing nothing, which was the case in the past. Um, if I wasn't using my bullet journal, I was not very active that day. Uh, that's not the case lately, and so yeah. But the it's it's okay. This is the positive side of bullet journaling. I have no blank empty pages. I can just start from the last time I used it, which is awesome. And that is what we're going to do now. So let's jump into the hyperlapse and get to it. Thank you. 
Guys, I am back to flip through the pages I just set up here. Uh, I don't like this. So this is my cover page, and now that I've come back to it, I don't like just the ballpoint pen. So I'm going over it with this uh, Furunosuke pen. This is a soft tip uh, brush pen. And like I said in the beginning, I probably buy a full color set of these from Target. I would say from Michaels, but my local Michaels up and closed. And <sighs> I'm sad. Anyway, I found this out a month or so ago. So like from the very beginning, things did not go as planned. I planned for to use these on the cover but then I just started copying this uh, font here from the dynamite logo okay my computer is telling me there are no virus threats um, so yeah from the dynamite logo it didn't go a hundred percent well and I don't have like a precision whiteout thing so that but um, freehanding it not too bad and I was happy with it, so yeah. Now this is my uh, monthly log, and I guess I can write that down somewhere. Oh, that's what I need, the dates. This has been feeling really empty, and I keep forgetting to put the dates. I don't want to put that date though. So, orange, we have pink, we have bluish green. Let's go with blue here. Uh, these are things that should be here already, but I only notice when I'm going back over it for you guys. Yeah, so at some point I'll write that in over here. Please excuse any background noises. My window is open because it's warm. Okay, so our Beltane ritual with my coven coming up. My parents are going on vacation. Uh, BTS Butter, their English release is coming. Uh, someone's birthday, the Billboard Awards, more birthdays. Uh, the full moon, a blood moon, um, which means it will be a lunar eclipse and uh, 
that only happens during full moons, and it's called the blood moon because some light of the sun does shine past the moon, but not the full, and it gives like this reddish appearance. This is partially why my business and my channel is named Scarlet Moon Creations, um, and that is why I will be having on that day a launch slash rebranding i'll get into that later but i have talked about that in previous uh plan with me videos now memorial day coming up my niece's birthday and then the new moon or dark moon in gemini for next month my projects list i did a little bit different i uh as i've been mentioning all year have been trying to use stickers my three six create three six five stickers um, they don't quite, I, I, I pulled some of these guys, uh, from another page, but they don't quite match up with the spacing wise with the, the, the grid I have here. And just FYI, it is a grid, uh, this notebook, the vertical lines are dotted and the horizontal ones are straight lines. So yeah, I pulled in some of these guys, and the spacing doesn't quite fit, but the colors do, and that's okay. I just wrote it in to match the circle, so I can cross them off. I think next time I can move this over some. And maybe I can put some washi here later. We'll see. Now, my field and sky notes. If you were watching, you should have been watching. Um, I had some difficulties here. So my plan was to have the stickers, which are rub-on transfers. If you watched my last Plan With Me video, you know I had some trouble with some other uh, rub-on transfers. Um, and yeah, so I planned to have the letters over the washi tape, kind of like this, but obviously with stickers, but it would not stick. The only, it would not stick to the tape, and oh, since the letters are bigger than the tape, part, the bottom part of this F stuck to the paper here, but not the tape. So, yeah, you learn as you go, guys. Uh, what I did was attempt to try to stick the rest of it here, but it didn't work out, like... I don't know how well you can see, but most of the gold from the top half of the F is still here on this sticker. It's It was quite frustrating. I gave up and just put the rest of the stickers and then used my gold pen, of which I've now lost track. Oh, here it is. This is a artist pit pen, a uh, pit artist pen by Faber Castell in 1.5. So it's it, it worked out to be thin enough, um, and therefore I brought this in to use for writing in my events here. All right, because I was frustrated with this, I just said I wanted a color background. I'm getting it. I thought I would get it with the washi tape. But that did not work out, so we're getting it with the tumble here. Um, and that's my release for the full moon and manifest for the new moon. I, once again, attempted to write over this. Did not work out. So, like, you can't really tell what it says. And I, it matters to me, so I just wrote it under here with the gold pen. Now... Here we are again. Um, I did not pencil this in very well, so it didn't come out very well. And then I was fussing with attempting to write on here, on this washi tape, and it kind of dried the pen out a little bit at the time. So the books didn't come out looking quite as clean as Taurus did, but that's okay. I went back off camera and just stuck this sticker here. I think it goes well. Music, I might come back and put a sticker here from the dynamite set. 
but I don't know because I do want to leave some for other things but yeah books and music will be filled in over the course of the month memory so now I clearly knew that I could not legibly write over the Wasi tape so I penciled in the word memories in the background or the top of the letters and then colored them in with the Tombow, the bullet tips, and my review spread. I'll uh, probably, I'm like, I started out with this blue, then realized I would like to do like a rainbow effect with the questions at the end of the month as I fill them in. So I went and did black for a profit traffic tracker. Um, And that's okay. Uh, what, what, what was I going to say just now? That's uh, That will look really nice if I remember when the end of the month comes. Now, the difference is I did a weekly spread the first week. Um, I mentioned this at the beginning of this video that I might do this and I remembered at the end. Um, and kept it fairly rainbow-ish looking. I will keep the color scheme going when I write stuff in the boxes here. Uh, I haven't done a weekly spread in whoo, a very long time. I March of last year, it looks like. March, April of last year. Maybe me. It's been a year. Um, I used to keep a separate insert for these... But, um, the reason I thought of it was because, like I said, I haven't been keeping up with my dailies and having the weeklies, I remembered in the past, helped keep me sort of on track, um, and have something to refer back to, uh, when I couldn't keep up with the dailies. So, it's a pre-made spread that I need to fill in, but it should be okay I will attempt to do dailies as well so I have the space for it uh, I hope wait I've got about four I've got 34 pages left I'm going to attempt to get uh, one more monthly into this notebook and then move into my second one of the year and yeah that is my setup uh, I struggled because I haven't done this in a while I struggled with the spacing uh, this is a different size notebook it's slightly bigger and the squares are smaller but um, yeah, and then I forgot that I spread the date out at the top left and bottom right. So I had to wipe all of that out. And that's difficult when you have this. Uh, so yeah, I'm happy with it. It's not perfect, but when are my setups ever perfect? To be completely honest, like, let's be real, right? Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like it if you liked it. Subscribe if you are new. Hit the notification bell so you know when my review videos go up. So you can see a flip through of all the spreads filled in and dailies from the previous month. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.